Hello, how are you doing today? I have a lot of stuff to get done around this house, so I figured me and you can hang out while I get my chores done. So go ahead and grab a drink, whether it be coffee, tea, ice water, or if you are exercising, then you can exercise while me and you hang out and I share my day with you and what we've been up to here. We have gotten a lot of rain here lately, which is really, really good for this part of Texas because we can go for months and months and months without any rain at all. And lately we have been getting thunderstorms, lightning, thunder, wind, and rain, and it has been great. But it has had our grass grow very quickly. <laughs> So after Jason and the boys get done mowing the lawn, you know us, we were thirsty. Well, he was thirsty and I tapped him into a Texas tea. <laughs> If you have been watching Vlogmazing, um, you know that we have been trying to get a basketball hoop up here at our house. Where we left you off was that we had used that foam stuff to put the post into the ground. And we figured that would hold because of the claim that the bag had on it was a really good claim. work so great <laughs> we got some rain and Jason went out there you know and, and tested the pole he shook it and it shook pretty it wasn't solid at all and he was like okay we need to do something different because this is not holding that post at all so we ended up heading to Home Depot Hello. <laughs> okay, so we ended up running to Home Depot. We got some quick creep, right? Mm -hmm. Is what we ended up getting. And it ended up being we needed quite a few bags of it by the time we got the pole and stuff set all back in there. But Jason made a, what would you call it? That little It's a little platform lift around it. Yeah, so that it's not just up into all the rocks and dirt yeah. and stuff, so. two days and then him and the boys went out and they started putting the basketball hoop together. So if you ever put in one of these basketball hoops that you cement the post end of the ground, make sure you read the instructions really well, like over and over again. Because I looked at the instructions and it just said take the pole with the angled top and sink into the ground at 14 and a half inches. So I did. Well then after I got it in there, put 380 pounds worth of concrete in it to seal it in, went out to go put the thing together and realized that I actually had the middle section sunk into the ground. So I had to finagle the uh, rest of the poles to get it to work right and had to drill holes to make things fit right. Yeah. yeah, nothing's easy. No. Nothing goes easy, but he did it. And um, it looks really good out there. It's holding real good. And Timothy and Justin are loving that basketball hoop. That's all on. <laughs>
May 22nd was my birthday. So we went to Brahms for me to be able to pick out whatever kind of ice cream sounded good to me. For my birthday dinner, I ended up picking a Japanese, authentic Japanese restaurant. Well, their dining area is really, really little, and every time we go in there, they're packed. So we usually just go ahead and we take it home and eat here at home, which is what we did that day for my birthday. Um, they also go by their food where if they run out of food, then they close the restaurant down. <laughs> so we knew we wanted to get there kind of early and place our order early. They open two times a day is all, and one is for lunch and one is for dinner, and that's it. And then they have really weird hours and really weird days that they're open. So, But they ended up being open on my birthday. I was very happy about that. The name of the restaurant is called Ichiban. I got cashew chicken and these red peppers right there those are way too hot so if you get something like that definitely pick them out because they have your mouth on fire. Justin got Kung Pao chicken, Kung Pao chicken. and Jason what did you Spicy get? Spicy sesame beef. Ooh yummy and Timothy got ramen. Yum. Isn't that something? And then for my cake, I decided to just keep it really simple and just grab a really good pepperidge farm cake from the store. And my ice cream, let me show you what I got. That ice cream was really good. I actually crave that raspberry ice cream. Oh, it's fantastic. That day, I got a very, very sweet surprise by my friend, Shelly Gordon. Let me show you what she got me for my birthday. Shelly Gordon, this is precious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. Me and my family are going to truly enjoy all these goodies. And thank you for the sweet card. You're amazing. You made my day special. And then you are not going to believe this because I didn't. Jason and the boys ended up giving me a trip to California to see my sister and my niece and my great niece. I have never been to California before um, and I'm going for six days and I have never seen my sister's house, my niece's house since they moved to California which is about four years ago, three and a half to four years ago. So I've never gotten to go out there and see their homes and you know just see the things that they get to see and I, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I am so excited. So I am actually going to be out there June 10th through June 16th. But I am looking very forward to going out to California and seeing the ocean out there. I will definitely get to see that. I'm hoping I get to see dolphins this time because I didn't get to see any when I was in Georgia. And just spending really good quality time with my sister and my nieces and just bonding and just having a really good time. So I, I'm thrilled, I cannot wait. It is going to be a really good vacation. And of course, you're gonna see it. <laughs> So I will definitely be sharing the highlights with you when I go to California.
Jason and Justin ended up going to the store. There was a couple things that we needed for the house for this weekend. I'm gonna finish up my dusting and then Timothy is going to vacuum the floors for me. Thank you so much for coming over and visiting with me today as I went around the house and did my chores and caught you up on the things that have been going on around here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.